picking up at pick up to 55. Pick up to 55. So point to that if you don't know where that is. We demand that they don't act like kids their age. We demand that they have to be quiet and still with their bodies like this for an hour at a time. A lot of people would say, well, they're just kids. to find a way to be able to communicate to a large population of students. On the entire orchestra, sometimes you can see in your peripheral vision. Okay, let's pack up. Everybody um, gets an opportunity. Everybody uh, gets a chance to play with each other. Uh, we, do, we don't really select people based on talent. So whoever comes to our school, we give them the same amount of information, we teach them the same way, we give them the same amount, the same amount of attention and, and energy, all of it's the same. But I told them, like, I will never refer to you as a kid or a child, I'm only referring you, to you as a musician, as a scholar. So the sound actually does not start when you start playing, the sound starts in your imagination first and then becomes a reality as we start playing together. We're going to try that one more time. Let's go. Here we go. Let's go. Here we go. Then they start realizing that there is this type of positive cycle when they sacrifice a little bit of something within their own sense of self-control, uh, they end up being able to do things that other people consider impossible. Every person in this building that I work with, every single one that I work with here, is driven because they love what they do. They love music. I, like, I relate my experiences to them as much as possible because I feel like that's one of the best ways to connect with them. You know, be like, I've, I've been there. You guys are way ahead of your time, you know? <laughs> like, I've had these problems when I was in college and you guys are already getting over them now, you know, so. They, the amount of work they do and the amount of what other people consider impossible is really based on the choices that they make. This is the place where I've seen the most teachers come together and be really joyful about what they do and just like keep striving for more than, than what you ever expect the kids can be able to do and they always do it. I've yet to see the kids reach a point where they can't achieve what we've asked them to do. And we've asked for a lot. <laughs> you know? It's the hard work that matters. Mm. In the end, you can be as talented as anybody, mm. but if you're not fostering, if you're not working hard, if you're not trying to improve yourself, it means nothing. Mm. If we can provide an environment where that reflection of themselves is always a positive one, always one that's never perfect and never always happy, but definitely one of purpose and drive, then we've done our job here. Three.